Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm V, and I'm filming this intro in such a public spot. And where I live, it is so uncommon for people to be vlogging. So yeah, I'm just gonna ignore people staring. I am literally so excited for today's video because we are gonna be doing the ultimate book video. I've seen Haley Fam do this so many times, and I literally love them so much because it just makes my book heart happy. It's like all the good book stuff in one. So we're gonna be doing that today. Here's our to-do list. Here's what we've got in store. One. I am parked near my town library. Oh goodness. Anyway, whew, don't mind me. I'm just talking to my camera. It's so normal. What was I saying? Okay. One, we're here at the library and we are going to get my library card renewed because I haven't been to the library in forever and haven't renewed my card. And I literally miss the library so much. I literally used to go so often. I haven't gone to the library in forever and I want to get my card renewed so I can start listening to audiobooks again because you can listen to them on the Libby app. So we're going to get my library card renewed. We're also going to browse books because if I can save money and just borrow books, that would be fantastic. So we're going to see if anything appeals to me. I don't have anything in particular that I'm looking for, which makes it super exciting. So I could just like look around. So so yes, that's what we're gonna do here. Two, we're gonna go to the bookstore. I'm so excited. I'm uh, breaking my book buying ban. I've been on a book buying ban for s months now. One, because of funds and my wallet. Two, because I literally have this full TBR shelf, TBR bookshelf, mini bookshelf in my room, and it is brimming with books. Like it is literally so full and literally has no room for more books. So I was like, what's the point of buying more books if I have it? And I'm very grateful to have that many books um on my roster or whatever. Did I use roster correctly? Mm, I don't know. But, but you guys there's a book that's been going around people have been raving about it and i literally like i i need to buy it i need to buy it so we're gonna go book shopping for that book and then three a little reading vlog because who doesn't love a good reading vlog so you guys are invited come along with me for a very exciting book video yay everything goes white i can feel the breeze euphoric delight only you and me Pour your honey sickly sweet Keeps me coming, got me weak You could kill me, I'd still be Dying your number six feet deep Oh, it's real hard to break this you guys okay we're back um in case anyone was wondering what my starbucks order was i love getting the iced brown sugar oat shaken espresso but i have this habit of forgetting to specify if i want a hot or a cold drink and getting the exact opposite of what i intended to get like this happens to me all the time i wanted a hot drink because it's 
it's I know it's summer but it's like I like hot drinks more than cold drinks and it's a little bit cold today so I'm like you know what I can get away with a hot drink nope forgot to specify that I wanted it hot so here we are still fine totally fine you guys I'm gonna give you a haul of the books that I got but I am so upset <laughs> Because there was one book that I really wanted to get and it was Fourth Wing. I wanted that book because literally everyone and their mother has read that book and rated it so high because they're like, oh, it's so good. It's like Hunger Games, but with dragons and that just sounds so good to me. And I checked at the, my local chapters and I was like, I checked online to see if it was in stock and it said it was. But when I went there, this lady checked for me and she was like, oh, sorry, we're sold out. Um, but we should have some in stock soon or something. And I was like, I want it now. I'm so impatient. But it's okay. I will wait. I think I'm going to get it on Amazon. I try to support bookstores before I support from Amazon. But if Amazon's the only place that has it, I'm going to buy it from Amazon. Oh, and the reason for that is because I recently, recently heard that apparently authors get paid more from bookstores. Or it was that Amazon is might, since they're, go, like, they're doing book prices really low, they might put bookstores out of business. I don't know. I heard something like that. So I was like, okay, let's look at the bookstore. But yes, yeah, since they don't have it there, I'm just probably going to get it off of Amazon. And let me know if you guys want a reading vlog of that or like a dedicated one or just you know want me to like share my thoughts in vlogs here and there or just post my review on goodreads let me know what you guys want to see but there was another book that i was excited to get so i'm not super super upset so i'll show you the book that i got from chapters first and you know we're breaking our book buying ban but we only bought one book so pat on the back for venus i'm so proud of me and that book is none other than red white and royal blue you guys this has been on my tbr for so long literally i forget when this came out but it was trending the year it came out basically everyone is obsessed with it and i added it to my tbr haven't read it yet i'm so late to get to books that's why i was gonna hop on fourth wing right away i was like i can't wait two years after the hype all the time because then i feel like everyone's already read it but when it's like ugh. But this has been on my TBR forever and I haven't gone around to reading it, but I decided I need to get it now because the movie is coming out on Prime and I saw the trailer and it looked so good. And I was like, okay, I have to read the book first. I have, this is the, this is a sign to read my book. Plus in my reading journal, it was in my list of 23 books to read in 2023. So this is like perfect. The cover is so cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, this just sounds so, I literally just read the back right now. This sounds so good and it sounds a little bit similar to the book that I'm writing in the sense that it's like a fake dating but it says here friendship but fake dating friendship trope for the sake of like publicity that's literally what my book that i'm writing right now is because it's like singer songwriter and they fake date for like their own reasons yeah okay i'm not here to talk about what i'm writing basically there are two boys alex and henry alex's mom becomes the president of the united states and henry is an actual prince and apparently they have beef so enemies to lovers but then like a picture circulates around of them together and it's like really bad for both of their family situations politics whatever so they have to form a truce and fake a friendship on instagram it says i think because they're long distance and then you know from there it probably turns into a little bit more than friendship or something but yeah this sounds really good and i'm so excited that i got it moving on to the two books that i got from the library i'm so glad i did this because one i got to interact with the li my, like my bosses when i worked at the library did i say that i worked at that library if i didn't i did worked i worked there and it was literally the best job in the world just as good as it sounds anyway book number one one is also same case as the last book one that's been popular for so long and I'm just now getting to it but it's also in my 23 books to read in 2023 so I thought I'd get it and it's get a life Chloe Brown basically Chloe makes a list of seven things to do to help her get a life but she needs help to complete it so she enlists the help of red who's like the typical bad boy trope I think and then things escalate from there so I think that's basically the gist of this book I'm so excited to read this the thing about library books is that that you have a deadline so I really hope I can finish this I'm not a fast reader I don't read a lot of books a month so I'm gonna try my best maybe this is like the fire I need to like finish these books faster I think I have till August yeah I have the, till the 3rd of August to finish this so I can do it I can do it the next book I'm so excited for this one I found this at the library and I added this one to my TBR very recently I don't know if it's new I really don't know when it came out to be honest but it's the neighbor favor by Christina Forrest first of all look how cute the cover is like I love covers like this come on that is gorgeous when I read a book I want my cover to like 
be this kind of thing where it's like it's people but it's like they're drawn they're not like real people i just love cartoon people on covers i don't know why but this sounds so good listen listen to this I, like i love books that have anything to do with someone who's in the writing field or public uh, publishing field so lily dreams of becoming a children's book editor but she's been frustratingly stuck in the non-fiction division for years without a promotion in sight lily finds escapism in her correspondence with her favorite fantasy author and what begins as two lonely people connecting over email turns into a tentative friendship and possibly something else Lily won't let herself entertain until he ghosts her without a word. We don't like that. Months later, Lily is still crushed, but she's determined to get a hold of her life, starting with finding a date to her sister's wedding. And the perfect person to help her is Nick Brown, her charming, attractive new neighbor, who she feels drawn to for reasons she can't explain. But little does she know, Nick is an author her favorite fantasy author. Nick, who has his reasons for using a pen name and pushing people away, soon realizes that the beautiful, quiet girl from down the hall is the same Lily he fell in love with over email months ago. Unwilling to complicate things even more between them, he agrees to set her up with someone else. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Though this simple favor between two neighbors is anything but, not when he can't get her off his mind. That sounds literally so good. That sounds so good, and I'm so excited to read this. And then at Starbucks, I was reading my current read, which is Twisted Love. I'm 112 pages in, and I love this book so far. Like, it's really, really up my speed. I like, like, really easy to get through kind of cheesy romances. It's not, like, cheesy, like, lighthearted cheesy, but, like, in the sense that, I don't know, it has everything that a typical ro you would expect in a typical romance, like jealousy, blah, 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 but I really like this. It's not for everyone, just, like, there's a trigger warning at the front, because the love interest is very possessive and, like, look at her and you die kind of guy but I still really like it so yeah so these are the three new reads that I picked up and I'm so excited look at how colorful those are so pretty so yay oh it's real hard to break this habit it's like I want you hey besties we are back home and I'm gonna finish up my iced lemon loaf, which is so good, by the way. If you've never had an iced lemon loaf, I highly recommend you try it. My go-to. That and the, the brownie from Starbucks are so good. And my coffee, which I've nursed so much that it is like 90% water now. Oddly, doesn't taste bad like that, though. And I'm going to continue Twisted Love. It's at such a good part where things are starting to happen, and I want to see what happens. Also, I wanted to show you guys this cute little bookmark I got, and I was going to put it in fourth wing because I thought it would match the aesthetic so much. But alas, fourth wing did not happen. But I want to thank Copperdist Woo for sending over this bookmark. It is so freaking cool, and I think it would just look good in any, like, fantasy book. Like, I'm literally obsessed with it. It's a crocodile or alligator. I don't know the difference but it looks so cool because the bottom is designed to sort of look like the belly i mean the attention to detail on this bookmark is insane and i love the rustic gold look to it and the detailing is impeccable and it sits so conveniently in between the pages and when you close the book it kind of looks like it's swimming on top i absolutely love it and i will have a link below for you guys if you want to check it out and buy one for yourself or maybe buy one for someone who you think would love this so just wanted to show you that and now I'll get straight into reading. I realized I never explained this book and I don't know if anyone's curious but it's Twisted Love which is in the Twisted series by Anna Huang and it's like a sunshine times grump, the girls the grump, the guys the the girls the sunshine the guys the grump and right now it just feels like a regular light-hearted romance minus the fact that the guy is like morally gray and anti-hero whatever the content warning says basically he is but besides that it just seems like a regular old romance except they have like these inklings of things from the past both characters that they allude to in like flashbacks or nightmares and i feel like that's going to be a main part of the plot but so far it's just little little bits and it isn't really affecting the plot that much but based on the description on the back where it's saying that um their love unleashes secrets that could destroy them both and everything they hold dear i'm like what is gonna happen like because right now it's just purely like the romance with little bits of that so i'm like what are these secrets and are their past somehow connected because they don't seem to be connected right now so i'm page 100 of 300 basically so i wonder what's gonna happen i mean it is twisted love so definitely expecting a plot twist Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere 
Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating You could be the one to help Good afternoon, it's the same morning But it is literally like, I can't see my clock But I think it's like 3 p.m. right now I had a super productive morning of just getting some work done And even writing, because something about this book and like reading it Just makes me want to write like get back into reading my own novel so badly by get back i mean like just continue like where i left off basically because i've been pretty good at writing um lately for those of you who may not know or who may not follow my writing content i'm doing a challenge where i'm supposed to well i set my own goal of writing 37,000 words this month and i'm still behind on that but i have been writing quite a bit lately and this book like reading this book just makes me want to continue to write so badly and some of these books some books do that for me and i think it's the ones where i see parts of my story in them like they remind me of them in some way like or a character reminds me of one of my characters or like you know certain tropes remind me of mine and it, it's just so exciting like getting that feeling of like wanting to stop and continue to write but as a little update i am on page 199 so i have a very short amount of the book left and things have started to pick up like you know that little subplot i was telling you about where they were sharing like their dark past or whatever like it's finally getting to the climax point of that so i'm gonna continue to drink my coffee and finish reading this and i'll update you guys later would also like to point out that this book got so spicy so fast so if you're gonna read it just be aware it is a five out of five on the spice scale and very much alpha male possessive male so if you're gonna read this be prepared for that y'all the things happening in this book right now are wild i'm on page 205 and like there's like a plot that like i was telling you guys before there's a plot that has nothing to do it's not the romance it's like their backstories or whatever and i ugh, i don't want to i'm not going to spoil i'm not going to spoil it but like major plot twist this book is really reminding of me, me of verity in the sense that it weaves together romance and like a darker sort of story element but yeah it, it's just i feel like the plot twist hit harder in that sense because you're not expecting it because you're it's a romance like you're not expecting like oh this and this to happen but oh my goodness i i feel like there's so much more that's gonna unfold because i feel like somehow alex's past has to tie in with ava's past because it says that in the back of the book i think it unleashes secrets that could destroy them both oh maybe not maybe it just means that their love together uh, is what is unleashing secrets about their past and not necessarily to do with them together okay never mind i get it but this is crazy stuff okay you guys i finished this book i immediately went to goodreads and put my thoughts on there and my rating and read read other people's reviews because i was like oh my gosh what do other people think of this but yeah essentially i rated this 3.5 stars rounded up to a four because i enjoyed this i really enjoyed this and i thought it was an easy fast-paced read i love that it's like literally 300 pages and there's no like slow parts like everything is straight to the point no beating around the bush no slow parts and that's so important to me because it's like books like that put me in a reading slump so i'm glad that this was like just a quick easy read and i really enjoyed it i loved the characters yes even alex like i don't know i just love the way the author right wrote these characters and i think that alex and ava are actually so good for each other like they fit so well together and i loved how they brought out the best in each other like i think that was done so well in this um that being said i felt like some plot points were a little contrived like a teeny bit unrealistic and the ending just it wasn't that satisfying to me and I'm a sucker for a, like a well done ending not saying it wasn't a good ending it was but the way she did it just uh, I don't know it just didn't hit for me but oh my goodness you guys this book sets up the next few books in the series so well I literally cannot wait to read the next book in the series because Ava's like friend group is her Bridget Stella and Jules and those three girls are the main characters for the next books and we get a little glimpse of what their romances are gonna be and I'm so excited the next book is Twisted Games and this isn't a spoiler because it's on the back of the book but basically in this book Bridget who's Ava's friend she She's a princess and so she has a bodyguard and she gets a new one in this book like a replacement bodyguard and he's gonna be the love interest for the next book like him and Bridget and I'm just so excited like bodyguard trope please that is gonna be so good and I just love that it's the rest of the series is gonna be her and her friends like I don't know yeah there were some issues I had with this book but overall I enjoyed it so yeah 3.5 stars routed to a four. Goodreads should really just let you do the 0.5 stars. Like I don't understand for the life of me why you can't do 0.5 because 0.5 makes all the difference in my opinion. 
but I try my best to always round up rather than down because I feel terrible rounding down like why why round down if you could just round up so I gave it a four but 3.5 3.75 in my head now I have to fill out my reading journal which I haven't filled out in so long but I'm so excited to fill it out when I got back from the library yesterday I downloaded get a life Chloe Brown <laughs> I'm so excited I downloaded it on Libby because I've been loving audiobooks lately I recently read Grown and Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I just love having an audiobook because then you can listen to it while doing other things like sometimes you don't always want to be sitting there reading a book like when I'm doing my nails or like cooking sometimes when I'm driving and I ugh, I just love having an audiobook and I figured I have the physical copy that I got yesterday from the library of Get a Life Chloe Brown but it'd be nice to have an audiobook to sometimes listen to while reading but then also to like switch back and forth between both of them so I'm so excited I think I'm gonna listen to that while updating my reading journal but I'm so excited to read like to get into a light-hearted like purely light-hearted romance which I think this is because this is a good romance but it's not super light-hearted but it does have its fluffy moments so yeah I'm excited to get into get a life Chloe Brown and fill out my reading journal okay this is what we're working with this is my reading journal I got it off of Amazon I'll link the vlog where I got it and kind of made this cover which I'm actually obsessed with I love it so much don't mind how messy my desk is is it practical no because I feel like this is gonna peel off at some point but so okay this is my favorite spread that I've made it's books read in 2023 like all the books I want to read this year and then I have my goal at 50 because my goal on Goodreads is 50 books this year and I've only filled out those ones you guys I think I've read 13 at this point including twisted love so this needs to be updated and I like color it the color of the spine I think that just makes sense to me but yeah I'm obsessed with this page I think it's so cute and I definitely need to update this so I'm gonna do that but yeah I have to put something here I have to fill this out I have to add a title here and then update this book bingo um a title here because this is I think my five goals of 2023 for a reading and then I want to finish this page which is my 23 books in 2023 to read I've checked off the ones I've read so far far actually no because I've read also Queen of Nothing, Vow of Thieves, The Paris Apartment, Things We Never Got Over. Yeah so I'm gonna check off the ones I've done and I'm gonna also make this page nice. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Yay! Okay not gonna lie it's a couple nights later. I kind of just didn't get around to finishing my reading journal until tonight. Not finishing. I didn't finish it. I just updated those pages that I told you I would update. But oh, it's just so therapeutic to just put on a show or listen to something and then work on this reading journal. So fun. Um, but I had to put a pause on it because my printer isn't working and I need to print out little book images for a lot of pages and for some spreads that I want to do. So to be resumed. I also came to this realization, you guys. I know I was just raving about the cover that I made. I peeled it off. Yep, I have to clean the front because there's a little bit of dry Mod Podge on it, but I decided because the cover said 2023, I didn't want it to be in the cover because I decided that I want to use this not just for 2023, but as my book journal of all time because I'm not someone who reads a lot of books in a month. So it didn't make sense to me to use a whole entire bullet journal for one year if I'd have like 5, 10, 15 pages filled out. So I figured I would use the cover as my little 2020 to start my 2023 entry um and then you know like i'll keep going as years go by and i, I don't know if, i think people do that I, it's just i've never heard of anyone doing that so it just seemed like a suitable choice for me and i'm so so glad that i made that decision because then i don't feel like i'm wasting a notebook i really do have to clean the front though but i do really like this the star so yeah i decided on that so i updated this page books read in 2023 and as you can see up there i added all of the books that i forgot with their suitable colors i did a reading goals a reading goal page of 50 books and then i did the corresponding ratings for all of the books that I read. So the dark pink is five star, light pink is four star. The other shade of pink that's like in between both is supposed to be three stars but I haven't gotten that yet. Um, and I have to write a number there because I had to use white out because I did the wrong color so gotta fix that. And then gray is no rating. That's just a book I read in English class and I, I don't really know what to rate it to be honest. Yes okay and then here I have my book bingo page. I, I wrote book like that and then I did like books I don't know why I just decided to do that and then wrote bingo and then put like tape there um and then my 2023 reading goals I just added like these 
I think it's so cute. Also, all of these like sketch paper stuff that I'm using, like all of this stuff, is from Stationery Pal. I have a, a discount code and a link for you down below in the description box if you want to check them out. They have so many things like that for like scrapbooking and sketchbooks and stuff, and it's such good prices, like literally so good. And the paper is literally meant for sketchbooks, so it's so easy to tear and like get pretty precise lines. Like I cut out the flower in this just like by tearing it. So highly recommend if you want some new things for your bullet journal. Literally everything I use to make this basically is from Stationery Pal, like the pens and all of that stuff. So highly recommend checking them out. And then this is my favorite page and the last page that I've completed, even though it's not complete, but it's the top 23 books to read in 2023. And this is my working list. I've got six books of 23 completed. I don't know if we don't know I don't know if we'll make it by the end of the year but I'm gonna try my best but I love this paper color I don't know and then here I'm gonna print out the books and then paste them here or glue them <laughs> so yeah that's my little reading journal right now and I'm so happy with it but anyway you guys that's gonna be it for me today for this vlog I really really hope you guys enjoyed this extra bookish vlog I so enjoyed making it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos from me and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you're notified the next time I upload and I will see you guys in my next video bye